It's pretty common for in any type of population, whether it be national, state, or local, or a university campus, for people not to pay attention to policies um, unless there's something that causes them to. So we we send out um, an annual email um, with the policy, with a link to the policy page. Some people look at it, some don't. I'm Bill Haggard, Vice Chancellor for Student Affairs at UNC Asheville. I also chair the uh, Smoking Policy Committee. Uh, the big change this year um, was a reduction in the number of uh, the designated smoking areas. And then there was a relocation of some of the designated smoking areas in residential areas. We reduced the number of designated smoking areas from five to three. And um, so those were the major changes this year was the elimination of the gazebo and the reduction in the residential area from five to three. Right. They shut down a lot of the smoke circles around like the, the buildings I stay at and stuff, so a lot of the smokers that I hang out with have told me a lot about that. I mean, I think it's pretty ridiculous that they can have places that were like so easy for students to use at one point and then just kind of like shut down all of them so it makes it like way more spread out and way more difficult for smokers to get to. But at the same time, like I appreciate the fact that they're trying to look out for the other people on campus that feel second affected by secondhand smoke and stuff. Are you guys smokers or not smokers? I don't smoke. I'm a non-smoker. I know that there was a smoking circle behind Mills that was like yeah, abolished or disbanded or something. Uh, I think it's stupid, honestly, because I lived in Mills two years ago and I know when I lived here there would be moments where I needed a cigarette in the middle of the night and I didn't want to walk more than 10 feet, let alone half a mile. So, uh, Since I've been here, it's just, I don't know, they've, they've forced people, I think, into just weird spots on campus and generally they're along the edge of campus which seems kind of a security hazard to me because anybody could walk up to somebody in the middle of the night and do whatever a robbery who knows what I don't know I've been smoking cigarettes since I was 13 I don't see how you can tell somebody not to smoke in a certain place or go somewhere else and smoke because either way I mean you're smoking and it's bad for the environment and there's gonna be people around you I just feel that it makes it more dangerous because, I mean, anybody could come on campus at any time and cause somebody trouble, but I feel like if we're together in one place, then nobody's going to say anything. Uh, are you aware of the new smoking policies that are on campus? Yeah, I am aware of them. I'm an RA, so we were fully briefed on those at the beginning of the year. Well, personally, <laughs> uh, I get a hard time when I have duty. Uh, the doors are propped all the time, and that's like a huge safety issue. Um, the UNCA is like prided in being like one of the number one safest schools in uh, America or you know and uh, that's a big big no-no and since this circle got moved from up here to down there where the doors are uh, it's a lot more of a safety issue than anything. And really the elimination of that as a designated smoking area was unrelated to smoking tobacco. It was related to other, to alcohol and other illegal substances and other conduct um, that really posed a safety risk for uh, folks there and for the university. And that's why we uh, had to eliminate that location.